Uh, I mean, it felt good. It was a big honor. I mean, there's a lot of great defensive players in the, uh, our conference, but I can't take all the credit. You know, some of those pass breakups, because D line didn't give them time to throw the ball. Um, coach put me in a position to make the play. I mean, it was everybody out there uh, helping me. With the proliferation of spread offenses, tempo, you're seeing a lot of high scores these days. How hard is it to, to, to play defense these days when you're, when you're going against so many teams like that? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. It's tough uh, just with the speed of the game now. But we sit every day at practice. So it's not anything new to us. Uh, our offense, up-tempo offense. So us being able to sit at practice kind of slow it down for us when it comes to game time. Your fumble had turned into a score on Saturday. That came at a, at a key time, and Tulsa had gotten some things going offensively there in the second quarter. And to be able to piggyback right off your offensive score and get, it, get one for the defense right there, how, how important was that from a defensive perspective? Uh, I think it was big. Uh, we always talk about you know us scoring on defense, creating takeaways. Win that takeover uh, turnover margin. And I think that series of them scoring and then us scoring right um, after them, I think that changed the momentum of the game. And we ran away with it after that. You're bowl eligible now, but still three games left. How important is it to keep, to keep moving forward? Here? I mean, it's very important. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we're excited about going to a bowl, but. We're not just trying to go to a bowl like, you know, we're trying to finish out the season nine and three. You know, we're trying to still go in every week, prepare the same way. Um, you know, we just like the bowl wasn't the only goal for the season. Anything else? All right. Thank you, PJ.